Hey there, I'm Kevin with The Culture Project, and today we are gonna be covering five tools to help keep your kids safe online. Stick with us. All right, so I can easily remember my parents being completely caught off guard by the internet. They didn't know how to keep us safe from stumbling onto pornography, whether by accident or intentionally, and had no clue how to protect us in general, really, while we were going through what's essentially a window to everything and everyone in the world. I'm sure many of you can relate to this. Well, now I'm a parent. I have a four-year-old daughter and a 16-month-old daughter. We don't let them play with smart devices yet. They don't have access to the internet or anything like that. But my wife and I are determined to not get caught off guard. When our kids are old enough to be online, we already want to be ready. The good news is that there are a lot of resources out there to help parents like myself keep our kids safe online. Now, somehow, despite years of stories of sexual online predators or data revealing that the average age of exposure to pornography is constantly dropping, despite all that, some parents still seem to view their kids' internet activity like it's a personal diary. It's not. It's a window to every thought, image, and person on the planet. It requires more, not less, involvement from parents than other aspects of their lives. If questions like, hey, where's my kid at two in the morning, seem kind of important, so should the question, what's my kid doing online at two in the morning? I'm not saying that we should treat the internet like it's evil, but we do need to take it seriously. Like every aspect of a child's life, every age and every child is going to be different, but what's really key is that we as parents are involved and have the tools to help them. So, without further ado, here are five tools to help keep your kids safe online. Number one, Covenant Eyes. Not a big surprise, right? I mean, Covenant Eyes is a staple in anti-porn software world, and for a good reason. There are a lot of website filtering services out there, but what sets Covenant Eyes apart from all the rest is how it functions as both a filter and accountability software. As a filtering service, you can customize how much you want filtered for each person and each device, and you can select specific sites to block or unblock. For accountability, Covenant Eyes sends regular reports to an accountability partner to let them know of any concerning online activity. You can decide what you want included in the report, how often reports should go out, and more. The customization means you can have stronger filtering for your kids than you do for yourselves, different settings for each child, and so on. Just to emphasize how hard Covenant Eyes works to keep up with an ever-changing industry, as we were editing this video, they announced their new screen accountability technology. In their own words, this service captures screenshots of your devices, detects sexual images using image analysis, blurs the images, and sends an image report to your accountability partner. This effectively ensures that no matter how a device is accessing pornography, the Covenant Eyes technology will catch it. This is a drastic step forward for accountability and is being offered at no additional cost. Covenant Eyes is downloadable for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, or Kindle Fire. For iOS and Android, they use a virtual private network, or VPN, to monitor activity. It's not perfect, the VPN only monitors for accountability purposes, so if you want your browsing filtered, I would still recommend using the Covenant Eyes browsing app to browse. Nonetheless, it's a huge step and a big part of what makes Covenant Eyes so effective. At $15.99 a month for families, I can't recommend it enough. We have it on all of our devices at home. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Number two, protect young eyes. So Protect Young Eyes is essentially the sister site to Covenant Eyes, all focused on helping parents and their kids. It's not software though, but rather an educational resource. There's a ton of content on their site worth checking out, but easily the most valuable part of the site is the rundown of various apps and devices. Protect Young Eyes does a phenomenal job describing the most popular iOS and Android apps out there and providing a thorough rundown of all the potential pitfalls. What you should be cautious about, what's safe, what's not, it's all there. It also walks through how to set up just about any device out there to be as safe as possible. Especially helpful is the guide for safety settings on gaming consoles. A lot of parents don't seem to realize this, but it's pretty easy to access porn through a gaming console. Overall, Covenant Eyes and Protect Young Eyes are easily the top two most helpful resources out there but we've got three more, so let's keep going. Number three, Circle with Disney. Circle with Disney might seem like it's just the filtering of Covenant Eyes without the accountability or versatility, but what it offers for at-home filtering and control over Wi-Fi connected devices is incredibly robust. For one-time purchase, Circle with Disney offers Circle Home, which in their own words, pairs with your Wi-Fi router and allows you to manage every device on the network. By keeping track of internet traffic in your home, everyone gets an online experience customized just for them." End quote. I can't stress enough how comprehensive the customization options here are. 
Not only can you set filtering levels for each device, you can also set a bedtime for each of them to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, schedule parts of the day to be Wi-Fi free, put time limits on specific apps, and even check the history and usage of each device. Honestly, that's barely scratching the surface of what Circle Home can do. As an add-on to Circle Home, you can also get the Circle Go app, which uses a VPN to extend the Circle Home control, filtering, and customizations anywhere you go. Subscription for this is $4.95 a month for up to 10 devices. Number four, Bark. This is likely to be the most controversial one on our list. As many of its reviewers have noted, Bark can have a bit of a Big Brother feel to it. In their own words, Bark monitors text messages, YouTube, emails, and 24 different social networks for potential safety concerns. It looks for activity that may indicate online predators, adult content, sexting, cyberbullying, drug use, suicidal thoughts, and more. End quote. Not only will it alert a parent should any of these come up, the app also offers advice on how to approach each individual issue. A lot of people feel like this is a step too far from monitoring, but you can work with your kids to customize the settings and make sure you're only alerted of the things that you would want to know. Finally, number five, protect young minds. Not to be confused with protect young eyes. Wish they could have coordinated the names a little bit better too. Oh well, Protect Young Minds has some great practical advice on prepping your kids for online activity, walking them through how to be careful, what to look out for, and what to do if they do, accidentally or not, stumble across pornography. Honestly though, there's a lot of great stuff out there. To recap, Covenant Eyes, Protect Young Eyes, Circle with Disney, Bark, and Protect Young Minds. But at the end of the day, you can have all of these resources and it will mean nothing if you don't sit down and have a conversation with your kids. No matter how old your child is, even if like mine, they're too young to be using the internet, it's a good idea to start these conversations early. Matt Frad and Ascension Presents released two videos on how to talk to your kids about pornography. Highly recommend giving these a watch. We'll link in the description below. All right, that's it for today. Are there any obvious resources we missed? Let us know. We would love to follow this up with even more recommendations in the future. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.